Welcome back to Great Day. Our next guest is well known as the man behind famous musical acts such as Beyonce, Solange, and Destiny's Child, to name a few. His talent and knowledge has led him on a recent journey to empower others interested in making it on the big stage. His latest book, The Emancipation of Slaves Through Music, explores how the past has made an impact on the present-day entertainment industry. Here to teach us more is doctor, professor, music executive, and author Matthew Knowles. Hello Good there. Morning. Uh, I, so a lot of people might not know that it's Dr. Matthew it's Knowles. It's Dr. Matthew Knowles. Yes. Two years ago, I went back and I got my PhD in business administration. Yeah. All right. Let's let's go back a little bit further. Oh, you? when you were a member of Destiny's Child. Yeah. Well, yes, yes. It was Destiny's Child and the Mama. That, that's that's what it was, and the Mama got dropped. <laughs> no. Actually, you know, it, it, it's it's funny. I, I so loved seeing that story of how those girls grew. I I came from uh, I came here to Houston right when they were about to step onto that big stage and I remember you calling and saying hey would love to get the girls on the show and I was like come on right? I remember that. And, and and you were always so gracious in, in doing that and they actually came back the day that they were going on the uh, Grammys and performing that night and you made sure that they came back and did like a thank you to Houston concert before they took off all right um, let's go back a little bit further you grew up in Alabama and Gaston Alabama yeah different time well, it's a different time, different place. We're talking 1952, uh, racism uh, everywhere. Yeah. Uh, small town, 30,000 people. I uh, never went to a black school. Uh, in an integrated uh, junior high, high school, elementary, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Uh, and then I transferred to Fisk University, and I talk about uh, I was like Fisk out of water because mm. I had never been around black folks before. Yeah, yeah. All right, so many people can take that experience of racism and it can hold them back. Others, it propels them. Obviously for you, education was important from the get-go. Where did that come from for you? Well, it came from my mother. Uh, I'm one of the first in my family to get a, a degree. So that was very, very, very important. Uh, I was able to get that degree by playing basketball because my parents were, were poor. Yeah. All right. Your degrees in economics and business. Uh, you were a salesperson at Xerox Medical System, and you were like one of the top salespeople. And then all of a sudden, there was a shift. Although the business degree is what really came in as being important here, you had really talented children, and you knew that that was their passion. And you, you and I have talked about this before, Matthew. How many parents say, "My child is talented, so what do we need to do?" You put everything in to making that success happen. Well, I think it's important that parents surround their kids with all the tools that they need mm -hmm. and let that kid determine what they're passionate about. And how do you de determine if they're passionate? If you have to tell them to go to practice, you know they're not passionate. Yeah. So that day you have to say it's time to go to practice you know it's around. And that was the birth of, you had Beyonce, Solange, Destiny's Child, uh, you've signed other artists since then, Chaka Khan, Earth, Wind & Fire, the OJs, who uh, continue to play their music, and we love that music today. Uh, becoming a professor and, and getting your PhD, so again, education always important to you. This latest book you have, where you talk about that journey, journey of slavery and the music and how this industry is all intertwined, what's the message you want people to get out of that? The, the message is that it was a two-year journey um, folks on that slave ship didn't, what, they weren't from the same tribes, yeah. so they couldn't communicate. So they had to learn to communicate, and they did effectively through music. Uh, knocking on the walls, their chains that they had. The uh, drum beat. The drum beat. They, they learned hum humming and crying that they learn to uh, communicate through music. Yeah, and later that music, when they could share a language, really was therapy. Exactly. And then also an expression of what the experiences were. You look at the old Negro spirituals. Uh, you look at some of the, you know, nobody knows. You know, just all those types and, and of things. And some of those songs had messages regarding Hidden. escape routes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you know, those 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 songs were called sor sorrow songs. Yeah. Because there's a lot of sorrow and pain that was going on during those times. All right. You've also written other books, The DNA of Achievers. What do you find as one of the, like some of the traits in people who achieve? It's passion. This starts number one is passion. Find someone uh, who's passionate. What else, what else coexists with that is work ethics. Yeah. They, they coexist. So those two things are very important, passion and work ethics. Is that DNA or is that taught? It's a combination of both. Yeah. I think you can learn passion. You can find your passion. All right, and we have our other book here, 
racism from the eyes of a child. Mm -hmm. That's me talking about growing up in Gaston, Alabama, uh, some of the racial trauma, years of therapy that I had to go through uh, to talk and, and really get a sense of the racial trauma and how it affected me. Uh, and this is so important today, Matthew, because it, it, that, that whole situation has not gone away. And it seems like it kind of simmers down for a minute, but then it explodes again. And if you are the one in charge of fixing it, what is the fix for both people who feel like they've been victimized and those who may have been the people who did it? Well, the one fix is therapy. Mm -hmm. I, I really believe in that. And the other fix is, I think, and it's going to come from females. Uh, you know, in Alabama, in the last senatorial re uh, election, 98% of all black female women uh, went out to vote. Mm -hmm. And it was a very slim margin, only a 1,400 uh, margin win. This next election, I think females, bro both brown, black, and white, have to go out and make a difference. Yeah, a solidarity, if you will. All right, you are making a difference still in the music industry. You have a new act that you brought to us today. Tell us about them. Well, his name is Damola. He's from Nigeria. And I, I found Damola because his manager allowed at Texas Southern, when I was teaching uh -huh. artist management, they could bring one of their artists in a class and myself would review them. And Damola, Damola came one day and did an exceptional job. He's quite different. I'm not, I'm not going to give it away. I'll, I'll let him do it. Uh, but uh, a star. Ah, all right. Okay, another star is born. Okay, in the meantime, Emancipation of Slaves Through Music is now available for purchase. And for more information on how to connect with Dr. Matthew Knowles, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com. But coming up, we'll get to hear from Matthew's newest artist from Nigeria. And he's an Afro-pop vocalist with a violin. And his name, as you heard him say, is Demola. He'll perform for us next.